Hey guys, today I bring to you a new and interesting topic where you can make money with the use of AI by creating historical shorts. And not just historical, you can pretty much create any type of shorts. But I'm gonna show you how you can make interesting historical shorts with the use of AI. And you can use the same tricks to make any kind of short you want. And this method is the easiest one, meaning you don't have to do a lot of work to get a single short and you can still get a crazy amount of views like you can see 10 million views here and hence making a good amount of money well let's get started with our video right away so the tool we will be using for this is smartshort.co so you can get here on this website at this link and first of all you will have a home page looking like this so this is where you are going to write your idea as compared with other ai you don't give a prompt you just write or describe the idea you have and this tool will do all the work for you and if you scroll down you can see a cool short playing here as an example of what this tool can generate first of all we have to sign in so click on the sign in button you can continue with discord or google i'll go with google here and once you're logged in you will see your profile picture here by clicking here you can check out your profile or disconnect and now that we are logged in we can get to the most interesting part of this video and the idea that i'm gonna go with here is based upon a historical war video now i am not gonna do all the research and write prompts for that get a paragraph and get the voice but instead i will let this tool do it for me and as you can see it came up with a nice story here we can read through that or we can even make changes to this once you're satisfied with that result, you can also change the language in this tool. As you can see, there are a lot of languages that are supported. So not only English, but it can also generate voiceovers in all of these languages which are here. So that is great. Now, come back to prompt and click on the next button. Also, by the way, if you see here, there is an expect ratio button. If you click here you can select one of these options but right now these two are only available in the premium ones but of course since you are only using it for shorts you wouldn't need anything other than the portrait one so it's selected and good to go and on this panel you can select the ai voice so you can try them out and see which one do you like i will try some of these and see which one we will go with i think i'm gonna go with echo here and click next now this is the most important feature of this app here you can select all the settings which have to do with the video itself this means one footage every 2.5 seconds by that it means every 2.5 seconds an image will be changed now you can increase or decrease this time i prefer having the lowest amount here which is two seconds and then we have effects here the first one being transition so of course every two seconds when the clips change there will be a transition effect then there are sound effects and then removing silence is also an important part because as you may know ai voices have silence so this will also remove that and then there is animated footages for example you will have animated text for all the subtitles as you can see in the video playing in the background isn't that amazing you're getting all of that without even having to do any work at all now you can click on the generate button and it will start creating the video for you and on this page you can see the progress of that as it will show up right away now it says processing so just sit back and relax it won't take a lot of time and will be done shortly now our historical video is ready we can click it and have a look Standing on the eve of battle, cannons booming in the distance, the air thick with tension. This is the world of historical warfare. A world where strategic minds clashed and soldiers fought for survival. Picture the American Civil War, a bitter conflict tearing the nation apart, brother against brother, the Battle of Agincourt, where a vastly outnumbered English army emerged victorious. Now, as you have noticed, this tool is absolutely insane. The short we have gotten is filled with all the crazy effects the images are always moving and there is an animation with transitions and then there is crazy and cool looking text effects which are always there i think this is the best tool yet which is able to generate such high quality shorts let us know down in the comments what do you guys think now let's have a look on the settings panel on the left here so if you see here we have several options with the captions styles edit and more so the first one being captions, we can see that we have those here. The smell of smoke which says, we can edit that as well. 
For example, if we look for this one here, if you simply press on any of this text, you can add more to this. For example, if I click the emoji icon and we can add any of these emojis and they will immediately be added there and you can see it right away. Now, if you want to make any changes to the subtitles, you can always just come to the captions and edit them up to your liking. Up next, we have styles and these are the styles of the font or the text that is displaying on the video. Now, that was about editing the text itself, but this is about the effects. And you can see there are a lot of crazy ones. You can have a look on all of them and see which one you like. For example, if we click on this one, it will be added immediately. But I think this was the one which was already in the video and we like it better. And I like it better personally, so I'll go with this. Up next, we have the edit option where we can edit the effects such as fade out, fade in. We can also add such options or even make a pop up here. Now that is insane. No other tool gives you such an option. And after that, we have footage, meaning all the images that are present in our video. We can add or remove one of these images. For example, if you have already created some images for your own short, you can always update them and add your own. And these will be replaced with those. And then there are some more settings such as hooks. So hooks are basically some additions to the video with your name and channel icons. So these are a way of making people subscribe to your channel right from your video. So that's also a nice to have. And then the music part is about adding some background music to them. So you can choose a song which you like and add that as well. You can also upload one of your own if you have a specific audio you want to use for this clip. And then last but not least, we have the config where we can name our file. You can also load a font of your own as well. And as we scroll down, we also have some steps on how we can get our video from this tool. So they have given everything we need right here. And also the plans, of course, this tool comes with a price. So you have to pay a premium here. I suggest you can go with the basic edition first. And as your needs might grow, you can go with a bigger package. But in my opinion, this is a solid investment because you are not doing a lot of work and still getting insane quality of shorts from this. Because if you had to do all of that yourself, you would first of all be spending a lot of your time working and then still paying for other tools, which would also cost more than this. So that was it for today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.